You need to take a little bit stock, inventory, a little survey. What's your limiting factor? And by limiting factor is that one thing that's holding you back. There's a number of, of things that can help you or hinder you in terms of your, of your overall success, but there's this one thing right now that's holding you back. Is it your mindset? Is it your plan? Is it maybe your expectations? There's something that's holding you back. That's your limiting factor. That's limiting your success. When we talk about chemistry, it's an agent that limits how fast a reaction can occur. And if you can increase that amount of that agent, you can actually speed up the speed of that reaction. And what I'm asking is for us to figure out how we're going to speed this up for you. Or just how we're going to get it to move at all. Maybe it's so slow that you're not even realizing it and you're at the verge of giving up. So what is your limiting factor? What needs to change? Is it five things? Is it one thing? I'm arguing it. it's usually a select number of things. Uh, but even that, even when there's multiple things, it's usually this one thing that will have the most effect. What's the smallest change you can make for the biggest effect? And what's that one thing that will have the most effect? Is it your nutrition? Is it how often you're exercising? Is it your sleep? Is it um, your, your protein intake? Uh, you might need to just tackle that limiting factor first. It might be that your scenario doesn't allow you to do as many things as you like and hit all the items on the checklist of the big rocks. It might mean that you say to me, Mauro, I, I can't even, I don't even have 10 minutes to, to work out. And as much as I might not believe that in full, I will say, okay, what can we do? In those 10 minutes, can we at least plan your meals for the day? Can we at least track? Can we at least make sure you're, you're getting to bed earlier? Like what could be that one thing right now that's going to nudge you forward uh, that at, at, it might be holding you back right now? And again, it might not have a really large effect at first, but it might be something that to get everything in order for you so that you can eventually succeed. But it's usually this one thing that is, is holding you back. And, and, and my argument is a lot of times it's mindset. It's like what you want to do compared to what you can do right now. It's what your expectations are to what's realistic. It's usually the mindset. And so if you really establish a really healthy mindset, you might succeed a little bit sooner. But more than anything, you need to take stock and realize what's this one thing. Uh, and it might be like just break it, break out your workout into smaller segments. It might be, you know, just pay, pay a little bit more attention to your nutrition, especially because you can't get as active as you like. It might be, you know, focusing a little bit more on, on your hydration and maybe getting to bed earlier, maybe spending five minutes being a little bit more uh, grateful, planning, something to help you with your mindset. So what I'm asking you to do is find that limiting factor, find that thing that's holding you back and let's put our energy behind that because it's most likely to have the biggest effect for your results.